Right now, our team is stationed along the Crystal Coast, ahead of Isaias reaching the east. In less than an hour, shelters are opening in Onslow County. That's where we find nine of your sites, Camila Barco. She's live in North Topsail Beach. Camila, how are conditions where you are? Shayla, this is literally the calm before the storm here in North Topsail Beach. The sun has occasionally peaked. There are clouds in the area. And as you can see, the waves are pretty steady and it has rained from time to time. But we have not seen any flooding. Even though the conditions are calm right now, Oslo County is preparing for the storm. Four shelters are opening for people who do not want to ride out the storm at their homes. They are warning people space is limited this time because of coronavirus restrictions. Because of those limitations, county officials are telling people to seek other locations to stay just in case. If you do plan to go, you make sure to bring your mask, hand sanitizer, and cleaning supplies. We're asking people to look at the situations. If they feel that they are not comfortable living in low-lying areas or housing that may not be substantial enough to withstand the winds, to seek alternate shelters. Those shelters include Swansboro and Richlands High School, Dixon and Jacksonville Commons Middle School, which will serve as the only pet-friendly shelter. Those buildings will open up tonight at 6 p.m. And North Topsail Beach officials say once winds reach 45 miles per hour, they will close the bridges. Live in North Topsail Beach, Camila Barco, Nine on your side.